Hello, everybody. You've just hit the steel wall, and welcome to Grim Fandango Remastered! I don't know why I said it like that. Um, this is a point-and-click adventure game made by the people at LucasArts. Uh, they made games like Sam and Max and um, Secret of Monkey Island. Very fun games. Um... The reason I'm doing this is because I'm taking a sidestep away from what I've been currently doing, like uh, Guild Wars 2 and whatnot, only because I want to test this software according to its limits, see what it can do and what it can't and what it will get stuck on. So um, this isn't to replace anything. I'm just going to be focusing on this for a while, and I'll see where I can go from there. Um, I will return to Guild Wars 2 later, after I'm done, you know, with this, and this is just going to be a full playthrough. Um, most of it's going to be blind, not all of it, but most of it, so, alright, without further ado, let's begin, shall we? As you saw in the intro, this is Mene Calavera, and we, um, two, looks like I got a message. Hey, hey, got a message. Um, this one? Yep. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's get the puzzle out there. Okay. Whatever you say, Hiffy. <laughs> yeah, what May said. Um. So it's a point-and-click adventure game, and hi, Manny. How's it going? <laughs> The game is not automatically saved. Please save them. Okay. So just saying, yeah. Let's move down here. Um, and it has, it's been one I haven't played. I've never played this. I've always wanted to play it. And when I got it, I'm just like, can't wait. So this is my chance to really, you know, play it. Hey, how's it going? Uh, speak. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Um, what poison? What poison? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at, but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Uh, where was the poisoning? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, okay. I won't. Okay. So go hit the bricks. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. <laughs> so I won't be saying everything that comes up because they do it themselves. <laughs> Look how just short my legs are and long my arms are. That's very off-putting. Um, I think I need to go through here. Do you run? You run. Okay. Double click. That is outside the building. Not the parking garage, which I need to go to. Is it through here? It's locked. Ah. Triple click or what? There we go. Um, is it here? No. No, where are you going? Where are you going? Back down here. Back down here. Oh, it's... Oh, it's opposite! Oh, okay. I'm like, what's going on? So what about this room? Is this one locked as well? It's locked. Ah, darn it. Come on. Book it, Manny. We got places to be. Um... This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. Okay. So. Run, you buffoon. Okay, so it apparently wasn't there. 
gonna go in through here. Oh, it's another elevator, okay. There's the garage. There goes that guy, okay. Um Come on, book it, Manny, book it! <clears throat> okay, that's kind of a cool system of storing cars. <laughs> I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Jeez, your mouth is huge. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said... Then he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? <laughs> well, looks like I'll need a new driver. <laughs> looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. <laughs> yes, you do. Who, what are you? Like, what? I, this is supposed to be all about the Day of the Dead and whatnot. Who is this guy? If people could post in the comments what this guy's supposed to be. Gladys. Is that a German name? Gladys. Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Oh, well, I just answered my question then. <laughs> hey, you want to be my replacement? I should stop at reading those things out. <laughs> you want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. <laughs> You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'm, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. <laughs> All right, what is I've this? I've got to get this work order <laughs> oh. signed. Vint system. <sighs> Alright, I'll have to get the work order sign. Why will he run in some areas and not others? I find that very weird. That won't help it get signed. No. But... If 
I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. Really? It's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Hmm. Okay. This is this office. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Huh. Well, let's do that. Hi, Manny. How's it going? <laughs> Just kind of too close for comfort there. Mm. Ah, the old files, the old clients, the glory days. When people died with dignity and Domino Hurley didn't exist. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. This end cabin is where I hang my cloak. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Hmm. Hmm. What to do, what to do. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. <laughs> Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Oh. Hello again, Manny. Um, okay, so I need the work order signed. How to get to how to get the boss to do the work order though? I'm sure a lot of people are just clamoring, just, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. And by a lot of people, I just mean the 15 subs I have. <laughs> it's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Oh! I can't find my driver. <laughs> Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like to hear your description of it, just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here, having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Interesting. Well, okay. I gotta go hit the bricks. Oh, no comment? <laughs> Sad times. Let's turn outside. There's gotta be something I can do. Because <laughs> these two doors were locked, so... I haven't checked out here yet. Downtown? Come on. <laughs> Looks like some sort of crafty mine. Crafty mine. Hey, what's going down, clown? A hey, back off suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Jeez. Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Robert Robert Frost. Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Hmm. That's the most unenthusiastic ta-da I've ever heard. <laughs> 
I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Hmm. Alleyway. The way that eye is looking at me. Let's take Hello? it. Hello. Not picking that up. <laughs> Let's see what's further down. It's huge. I can't open it. What's that? It looks like a rope. But it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. Can we climb it? Huh. We can. So, um, anyways, yeah. How's your week been? My week has been a week. A week, a week, a week and a half. And holy crap, that is a long way down. Please, let's not kill ourselves here. What is this? Hmm. Whose office is this? Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey, work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. <laughs> well, this must be the boss's desk then. Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey, swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. <laughs> It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. Not now. Uh. Is there more? I'll just uh -huh. change his auto response here. 